love handles, handling of the love. Just, I don't, I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> Welcome back to Keeping It Clean with the Clean Fit. My name is Kayleen, as you may already know. And today we're gonna to be working on love handles. Yes, love handles, aka muffin tops, aka visceral fat. So love handles are basically extra fat that develops around the core area over a long period of time. And that happens when you are consuming calories but not burning enough. A lot of us women, you know, we may have the nice booty and the nice chesticles and Stuff, but then all of a sudden we see that the extra fat that we were getting from trying to get thick ends up being here. This workout will be focusing on different exercises that target this area exactly. So if this sounds like an area you want to focus on, keep watching and follow along. For this exercise, all you're going to need is a mat and water. This workout will be 10 minutes, two circuits, and a 15 second break. First exercise on the list is oblique twists, aka Russian twists. First, you're going to balance on your coccyx bone with your knees bent at a 45 degree angle. Contracting your abs, you're going to twist right, return back to the center with a slight pause and twist to the left. If you can't keep your balance, an alternative to this is to keep your feet on the floor tucked under a stable object. But if you want to challenge yourself, you can do this exercise with a medicine ball if you have one available. Please keep in mind, it's okay to adjust a couple seconds before the countdown ends to get into your next exercise. So next is the side plank crunch. You can position yourself in two ways. One being using your knee to stabilize yourself the way I am here, and two being completely in a side plank position with your feet stacked on top of each other. For both, you'll have your forearm below your shoulder, body lifted and straight. You're going to bring the elbow on your top arm and knee on your top leg inwards to tap each other. Then reach both outwards and repeat the tap, working your obliques and entire core. When doing side workouts, you never want to neglect one side of your body. So you're going to do 30 seconds on the left and 30 seconds on the right. I can't even lie, I had to record this one twice to get the right form. But as you can see here, you're gonna keep your body in a diagonal with your legs stack on each other again with a bend in your knees. So we're gonna try and avoid rolling backwards by putting our upper body weight on our elbows as we crunch inwards, lifting both our upper body and legs. So the goal is to have your arm and leg move towards each other. You know you're doing it right if you feel it after 15 reps. Heel touches are super disrespectful to my neck and my double chin, I swear, but we're gonna get the job done. So we're gonna lay down on our backs with our knees bent and pointed towards the ceiling. With your arms on your sides, we're gonna raise our shoulders slightly off the ground. That is important. Then we're going to use our abs to rotate left and right to touch our ankles. Doing this one for a minute is killer, so if the other exercises don't work for you, I promise you this one will.
I'm giving you guys a little bit of a break here because this one is a bit easier. For windshield wipers, you're going to remain on your back with your legs up in the air and you're going to be in a crooked T-shaped position since your legs will be bent. And using your core, you're going to rotate your hips from one side to the other. Now if you want somewhat of a challenge, you can keep your legs straight in a proper T position. Now for your second half, I'm going to let you do your thing. I trust you to stay with it and stay focused. If your body feels like you're doing it wrong, you can always replay the first half during your second circuit for instructions. I know your legs are feeling a little heavy, but we are halfway there.
that is a wrap. You guys killed it. Thanks guys so much for sticking with me during this workout today. I hope that you burned some calories today. I know that I did. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, or anything like that, just put it in the comments below. And remember to like and subscribe. Thanks so much, and I will see you next time. Bye.